Okay guys, welcome to my video today. We're gonna to be talking about Enneagram type fours and what it looks like when fours are under stress, how they look like a type two in some ways. And you know, you probably already understand some things about this, but I have a question for you that maybe you've never thought of. And I don't know that I'm right, so I'm not telling you that this is what I think, I'm telling you that this is a question and I wanna interact with you on this question. Fours under stress can look a little bit like a two in some ways, and we all kinda of have a basic idea about what that means, but today I wanna to raise a question, uh, something that I think twos often do when somebody around them is emotionally closed off or withdrawn, twos sometimes see that as a challenge. So I'm just curious, do fours do that sometimes when somebody's closed off or emotionally unavailable or detached, does it raise your interest and under stress, do you try to make a connection when maybe somebody is not open to that connection with you? So let's talk about it in this video. We'll see where it leads us. Okay, welcome back to the video and you know, let's cover the basics for a second. Everybody gets the idea that fours under stress can look a little bit like a two. They might start feeling a little emotionally needy. They try to make some reconnections when sometimes their connections feel strained. You know, they've been true to themselves, but maybe they've broken some of these connections. And so the four starts to be nice and caring, a caregiver. They start to go after people. They start to feel a little bit more emotionally needy. And all that stuff feels very unpleasant, I'm sure. But today I have a specific question for you. Something I notice about type twos, and I wanna ask you guys if this ever shows up in your life as fours when you're under stress. So I was talking with a four last night. I have a, a lot of appointments with people. I do a lot of Enneagram coaching, a lot of marriage coaching and stuff. And I've got this super friend who is a type four wing five. And we started talking about this and, and it was true to her experience. And I'd never really thought about it before. And I wanna share it with you guys and see if any of you have this similar experience. So let's talk about, you know, one of the aspects of type twos <clears throat> is they sometimes see emotionally withdrawn people as a challenge. Just like threes love to see a challenge, overcome obstacles, and they get a sense of value and worth by overcoming obstacles and by winning. And, you know, I think twos, they sometimes have a similar uh, response. When somebody seems emotionally withdrawn or closed off, sometimes twos can kind of see that as a challenge. Now, uh, uh, an exhausted two might just not give any time to that. But often a two will see that emotionally withdrawn, closed off person, who's usually a five or a four or a four wing five, they'll see that as a challenge. Like, I'm gonna break through to that person. I'm gonna crack that nut. You just wait and see. And you know, twos often get a sense of, of validation of worth when they can break through and get through to somebody who nobody else can get through. They can make that connection and it reaffirms in their mind their sense of being a loving, generous, kind, thoughtful person. When they can break through that difficult barrier to get to know this person and make a connection. And I get it, fours aren't usually like that. Uh, fours are usually, if anything, they might be a little bit like the person that's emotionally withdrawn and would resist somebody who's trying to get in their space and make a connection that with them and you don't even know me, get out of my face, you know. I tend to think of fours more like that and especially fives like that. But under stress, here's the question I have for you. Under stress, do you sometimes try to make a connection with somebody who is maybe against you or somebody that you feel like, you know, is judging you or somebody who's emotionally closed off from you? Do you like a two under stress? Do you feel a need to try to win somebody over? Like I've got to win them over. And it could be for very different reasons. It could be, for example, like I've got to win this person over so that I go off their radar and they don't try to get to know me or they don't try to get beneath the surface. So I'm going to play nice. I'm going to play friendly. I'm going to play kind with them, but it may not be because I really want a relationship with them, but I don't want them, you know, creating problems for me or putting me on restrictions or whatever. So I'm just curious if sometimes that shows up in your life when you're under stress. Does that, does that characteristic of twos 
sometimes show up in your life. I could see another example of this possibly. Like imagine some five or nine walks in the room and you know they notice that you are distant. Maybe you're a four wing five, maybe you're a social four and you're distant and you know you're you're kind of wearing all your black and you're you know you're not really being friendly or warm and this person just gives you space. You know, they're a withdrawn type two, fives and nines. They give you space and they don't feel like they need to make a connection with you. And so they just kind of walk around you and they maybe ignore you a little bit, which might spark your interest. See, like if people are looking at you and thinking, oh, wow, she's so different. She's so unusual. Then I, I imagine that would probably drive you nuts. Or if people are pouring it on too heavy and they're trying to make a connection with you and you don't want it, that might drive you nuts as well. But what about the guy who or the girl or whatever that is so so uh, self-secure and withdrawn that they don't go after you. They don't try to make that connection with you. They just kind of like walk past you. Does that spark your interest? Does that spark your interest? Do you think, hmm, that person's different. Hmm, that person's, you know, not trying to make this connection with me. They're not coming on really too much. I, I wanna get to know them. I wanna understand them in that way could a four be said to look a little bit like it too because this person isn't reaching out to you that all of a sudden they're on your radar and now you're interested in them and you now want to make a connection with them. So this is kind of the thought I'm having and I'm just wondering if I'm onto something or maybe I'm way out in left field. And when I was talking to my friend last night, she was like, oh yeah, absolutely. I did that when I was growing up. You know, there would be people like maybe teachers or something and 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 they would, I didn't want them to, I didn't want them to be upset with me or to penalize me or something. And so I would think I got to win that. It's kind of like, I got to win that jerk over, not like a two, like I got to win that poor soul over. It was a little more like, I got to win that jerk over so that they don't make my life more difficult. Another aspect of this is I think sometimes fours, um, they could look a little bit like a two when they start to become overly nice or overly attentive to somebody. Um, trying maybe a little too hard to make a relationship work that isn't working, um, becoming a little bit like a caretaker. Maybe a relationship isn't healthy, but you know, you, you, you feel a little unmoored or disconnected. And so you want to try to reconnect when you feel stressed. So I guess what I'm saying is this. While a four might not naturally, I mean, maybe self-preservation four, I think all fours want to connect with people. Okay, let's just get that straight, that fours are humans and humans long to connect in a deep and meaningful way with somebody who really sees them, really knows them, really accepts them, really appreciates them, validates them. But I think that sometimes fours might be deeply intrigued by somebody who is emotionally strong, independent, and maybe a little bit distant. In fact, they may even feel drawn to them like a challenge to win that person over. And I wonder if that is an aspect of that disintegration line to two. I'm not saying it's bad. I think it might actually be a good thing. But for type fours, connecting with somebody who's hard to reach might feel a little bit like validation, that it's kind of a way, you know, like I, to prove that I'm special, that I'm able to connect with somebody. Um, I have this unique ability to understand this closed off person. So I think it's it's similar to maybe the way a type two thinks, but, but nuanced because you're a four. Um, I'm able to to connect with them and understand them at this deeper level because I'm unique and special and different myself. So others couldn't get through to this person, but I can, um, not because I'm overly loving and attentive and a great caretaker like a two, but because I'm unique, different, and special. And this person, maybe, who is unique, different, and special, we're able to bond or connect on a deeper level than other people could. So I just wonder if, if um, how you feel about this. Do you ever find yourself doing this or have you ever found yourself doing this? And if you think it's rubbish, then maybe just put it in the comments. No, Tom, I think you're not onto anything. I think you're just making stuff up in your head, which, you know, is possible at times. Uh, but I would appreciate your feedback. Like, go ahead, put it in the comments. Like, yes, I think this is true or, well, maybe, uh, but I don't see myself like that. Whatever. Okay, so what does this all mean? If you're a type four, 
then uh, you might be asking, could this be happening to me? Could I be drawn to somebody who really is like emotionally unavailable and distant simply because I feel this need to be special and different and to make a connection? Am I doing this under stress? Is this relationship really actually healthy? Or am I just, you know, sometimes playing a script in my mind uh, because I am a four or even because I am a two, if you're a two watching this video? Because I want your relationship to be healthy and I want, to I want you to find somebody that it's truly a companion for you that is good for you and compatible with you. And that's the real key is you don't really have to change. I mean, we can always improve. All of us should be improving, but let's find people that are compatible with us and let's work to be more compatible with each other so that we can have the best healthy relationships as possible. I'm here for you. That's my goal. I want you to be happy. I want you to live with passion. I want you to have great relationships. I want you to wake up every day excited to be alive and uh, looking forward to what's next in your life. If you need some help along the way, reach out to me. I'd love to work with you. But whatever I can do to help you or support you on this journey, thank you guys. Check out this playlist for more information and this video to help you continue growing. And as always, be present to life. I'll see you next time.